Devontae Kincaid came to Ole Miss from Dallas, Texas as a four-star quarterback in ESPN's Top 300. Well, um, Coach Freeze, is just his mentality. As a man, I feel like if I came here, I knew I was going to grow as a man, as a football player also. Kincaid got involved with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes when he arrived on campus, and it was there that he met football chaplain John Powell. I mean, I feel like he's been my mentor since I've been here because, I mean, anytime I had problems or if I had questions about anything, he was there for me. He could help me. It was here in the Ole Miss football team meeting room where Kincaid and fellow teammates gathered on Sundays to grow in their faith. What I tried to do is I tried to equip our players uh, to end up leading those Bible studies. One of our guys had gotten up and shared the devotional, and after he got done, I always closed it out. So I said, if that's you and uh, you want to uh, uh, start a relationship with Christ and you never really had one, um, I want to give you that opportunity to respond now. And, um, and uh, that's all I said. And you know, I said, if that's you, just you know, raise your hand. And me and Akeem Judd and Ty Quick, we all stood up. And I didn't want to stand up. It's just the way I felt like I just had to do it. So I stood up, and, you know, ever since then, it, it really made a turn in my life. A few nights before Kincaid accepted Christ, his brother was shot and killed in Dallas. I say everything is for God. It's, everything happens for a reason. Because I know if I would have been in Dallas with my brother, you know, you never know what would have happened. Because we was always together. So, I mean, it's a blessing that I didn't go with him, but it's, I know he's in a better place. It tested my faith a lot, like for us football, everything, because I wanted to drop everything and leave. But, you know, being here, you're going to have people around to build you up. Two weeks ago, Kincaid and his teammate, Akeem Judd, got baptized, an experience that Kincaid says he was nervous about. Coming up to the day of knowing I'm going to get baptized, I was so nervous. Like, I told my parents, like, I got butterflies already, like, I'm going to play a football game, you know? Uh, they were both were kind of apprehensive about going underwater. Um, but to help them understand why it was important for them to do that and to see that, you know, what you're all, all you're doing is, is acknowledging that you're recognizing and identifying yourself with Christ and that you've died to your old self and you're rising again to your new life. And to see when they came out of the water, to see like there was just this relief you know, on them to know that, man, you know, all the stuff that I've done in my life, man, has been washed away and now I'm clean and I'm new and I have a new start on life. Um, was pretty, that's pretty, pretty amazing to see. Kincaid and Judd will continue to play for the Rebels, but they are now playing for someone greater. Sykes Horvath, Newswatch. Still on his feet. That defensive front gash.